Hi there. I'm here to get you some tarot messages for today. I'm going to do a random read. Uh, see what messages want to come through. Uh, cards are shuffled. Let's jump right in. Uh, should we start with, well, let's pull, let's pull a Lemurian Oracle message. We'll set that aside. We'll read that in closing. Uh, sometimes I forget. I get, I start pulling the tarot and I forget to pull the Oracle. All right, a few more shuffles. Ready, set, go. Four cups. Magician. Two of pentacles. Four of sword. Queen of sword. Star. Chariot. High Priestess. You know, it looks like I probably have room for a couple more cards. Let's move that over there. We got a King of Cup and a Seven of Cups. Okay. So, someone is someone is disappointed uh, that they were taken. They were taken in uh, by someone. Someone. Uh, Someone, I feel like it was this Queen of Sword. This Queen of Sword manipulated someone. They thought they could uh, pull the wool over the eyes of this High Priestess here. Uh, they pretended to be loving, uh, but turned out to be a disappointment. However, this person has realized uh, their, their mistake, uh, and things are coming back into balance here uh there's been a lot of reflection like okay what just happened like there was some sort of like whirlwind energy here and it was like you know left your person like or this person seeing stars like something like um like what just happened like i feel like they were taken advantage of by this queen of sword uh, and, but again, however, they realized it. I feel like it might have been even like um, divine intervention uh, guiding this person out of uh, a, a situation, a confusing situation. Um, it was, it was, um, I'm hearing like it was a poisonous situation. Somebody was trying to feed this person um, some poison. And I don't mean that in a literal sense. I mean that in, you know, poisoning their mind with um, words and negativity uh, is what I'm getting here. Let's, well, let's clarify it though here. This Queen of Sword energy, Page of Pentacles. Yes, this, this Queen of Sword like kind of ruminated about this uh, situation. Like, what can I do to charm this person like I'm, I'm you know I'm looking at this page of pentacles and he's playing the flute it's re reminding me of like a snake charmer or something this somebody this queen of sword tried to charm this person uh but but you know th they're realizing it now like there's been divine intervention with the star energy uh five of wands yeah it was very um destructive behavior this person um, got involved with. I don't feel like it happened on purpose. I feel like they kind of just slipped into, um, they, they were lured into some sort of, uh, negative situation. But again, I keep getting that there's, there's movement out of it. There's a realization, like they couldn't get one over on this high priestess. You know, they, they might've for a little bit, but they realized, you know, what was going on here. And now they're taking, uh, taking charge in removing themselves from that situation. Uh, with this king of sword energy. This high priestess is very um, powerful energy. It's like, I feel like that queen of sword tried to mess with this high priestess and it just wasn't happening. It was like um, love overpowered hate here. Uh, this four of cups. Okay, so we got four of cups duplicating. It was There's something about... Um, well, I'm getting something, you, there was protection here, like there was protection from the divine here, uh, something that this person got entangled with, 
they had like loyal companions in the I feel like either like angels or ancestors or just protection from above is what I'm getting here. Let's pull another. We got the four cup here twice. Ace of cups. Yes, love overcame any kind of uh, negativity or, or hate or backstabbing or uh, whatever that is. Uh, six of wand energy. Yes, this like this is oh, successfully overcoming um, someone's bad juju. Uh, that bad juju was returned to sender. Uh, and love prevailed here with this king of cup energy. Yeah, the seven of swords. Like that seven of swords. You know, if you watch my readings, I don't read reversals. But that was coming in upside down. Like we're done with this. Like she's made up her mind. She'd rather remove herself from toxic energy, unnecessary chaos, drama, disrespect, all that fun stuff. Uh, for cup energy... Five of Pentacles, yeah, they, they, they are, they, they're leaving that behind. They're leaving that in um, the dust here. That victimhood, like, like leave the victim behind. You know, is what I'm getting, and I mean that by, you know, that Queen of Sword, maybe, you know, playing the victim, like, or the damsel in distress, or you know, there's something about um, that Queen trying to vie for the, for this person's attention uh but it you know and it might have worked for a little while here uh with this magician but nine of wands they, this person learned how to resist it or they realize like like wait a minute something is off here uh, this two of pentacles is bringing it back into harmony. I feel like this person reflected on all the things that, you know, um, went on in the past. Like, oh, now I understand why that happened and why they said this or lured me here. Um, two of pentacles. King of Pentacles. Yes, this person's now taking charge. You know, they're taking their own life back here. It's like they were um, lured somewhere where, you know, things got really wonky. Uh, but they they went within, figured this stuff out. Um, you know, end of the confusion. Four of Wands. Yeah, they're much happier now. They're much more grounded. Um, and they know that there's a new path for them. There's there's goodness ahead here. Uh, union of, of loving souls here is what I'm getting. Uh, versus ones that, you know, try to um, induce conflict here. This five of swords, seven of cups. Could be like a, a karmic relationship that needed to be experienced, learned from, grown from. Um, and then, you know, then there's new experiences. Yes, yeah, so you this person knows now how to, how to take the action. Bottom of the deck, we got the hermit. Uh, it's like going within and, and like finding the solutions and the, you know, realization that, wait a minute, something's off. I need to take charge of my life and my own decisions, my own choices, rebalance, refocus, and find uh, the, the right people, places, environments, um, attitudes that are in my best interest is what I'm getting there. All right, and our closing message is the sound of the universe this card signifies those pivotal moments that transcend belief remind us of a greater reality and influence us so that life will never be the same again it symbolizes the sound of the universe having your world shaken up even a little can invite a closer glimpse of the great mystery of life there are a myriad of ways to peek behind the veil of the mundane, ecstatic dance, spiritual exploration, and creative pursuits are just a few. Aim to imbue this awareness in your everyday existence so you can avoid the sudden wake-up calls. Listen for the hidden music, harmony, and wonder of your multi-dimensional world. Peace be with you. Bye now.